we today are very lucky because we are joined with Haya. Hey, Haya. Hey. I'm very excited to be chatting to you. Uh, just to start with, do you want to just tell us a bit about who you are? Yeah, sure. So my name is Haya Al Qadi. I work at Galaxy Racer. Um, it's a esports organization based mm. here in Dubai. We work across 11 game titles. We have esports teams. Um, content creators, we do live events, so online tournaments and on ground tournaments. Um, yeah, that's it's pretty fun so far. That Very sounds cool. Sounds incredible. So, how did you get into gaming? What clicked? Um, I think because my parents bought us a PlayStation 1. Nice. And um, That'll do it. my brother used to play a lot, and obviously, me being nosy, I wanted to play too. And um, I, I think playing video games is just another form of entertainment when you're at home. And I got hooked ever since then. Amazing. That is the way. I think mine was PlayStation 1 as well, to be honest. Um, so let's talk women in gaming. Obviously, it's grown quite, quite rapidly in this region especially, right? Yeah, big time. Um, so, you know, I will take... I credit it to the um, organizations that are starting to put more effort into empowering women, female gamers and creating a lot of uh, tournaments and leagues. And, you know, surprisingly, or actually it's a fact. So Galaxy Research started right here in Dubai with the first all uh, female League of Legends team. Wow, that's so cool. And why did we do that? Because we saw a huge gap in the market. We look at the statistics and there are a lot of female gamers, maybe around 30% at that time. And um, they have a higher propensity to spend. They enjoy gaming. They they spend on in-app purchases. So, I'm, so they decided, okay, there is clearly a huge opportunity even for brands to come in and utilize it as another form of, you know, promotion. Um, and so that's how it started. We started with the all-female League of Legends team and then we, we built more teams from there on. And a lot of other organizations are starting to do the same. Mm. They're, you know, creating dedicated tournaments like Girl Gamer, which happened in mm. Dubai in 2019. I did see that, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's growing really fast. Today, uh, it's almost a 50-50 split thanks to the you know mobile gaming with a lot of games being added almost yeah. every month yeah. um, the barrier per se um, was very limited you just needed your phone you download the game on the app store or android or google play or whatever and um, yeah um, because of that you would see a lot of more female gamers especially with console and PC, they're catching up. So we're almost 50-50. Yeah, yeah. But surprisingly, in other countries in Asia, there are more female gamers and they do compete and there are mixed teams. So I think it's just also a cultural difference. Yeah. Um, we're catching up. We're, we're getting there. There's a huge opportunity and I'm excited for that. Me too, definitely. Yeah, same. Now listen, for those that don't know, can you give us a little bit of a lowdown of what Galaxy Race is and does? Yeah, of course. So Galaxy Racer was founded in 2019. We're a lifestyle and gaming organization. We have headquarters here in the MENA region. We recently launched a all-women initiative in North America, which includes a foundation and tournament mm. to support women teams. Um, and we have esports division. So it's called Nigma Galaxy. They're based in Abu Dhabi uh, under 2454. And uh, interestingly enough, they're the only esports team to be sponsored by an airlines, which is Etihad. Very cool. Um, and we have a content creator division. So um, it is important to know that uh, Galaxy Racer, our, like our lifeline is our content creators. Mm -hmm. Because um, to speak to the newer generation, and this is also for all the brands that are getting into gaming, and we ask, like, why are all these brands getting into gaming? And it's because all the newer generation are playing video games or they're watching content creators on YouTube, Twitch, mm. um, or um, they w enjoy watching other people play. And, you know, interestingly enough, I found um, a news article in The National which says that the UAE has the highest 
uh, adult gamers. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that is pretty cool. Are you a gamer? Yes. Are you a gamer? <laughs> yes. So that's so, three out of three right there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not an alien topic. There are a lot of gamers yeah. here in the region. And it only made sense that Galaxy Research saw the opportunity. And we are trying to focus a lot on gaming and esports because it's a growing industry. Yeah. And I, I saw you have over 200 creators under yeah. the Galaxy umbrella, right? Yeah, so we have uh, so many creators and um, we have a lot of e professional esports players. Um, and because of that, it helped us land a joint venture with La Liga. Wow, yes. that's very cool. Yeah, so it's going to position uh, La Liga as a local partner mm -hmm. in the MENA market and Indian subcontinent. So they're going to, you know, we are um, setting up like a historic first for the world of sports rights in the territory and we're projecting a three billion uh, in revenue. Wow. Yeah. So and, and a lot of sports organizations are tapping into esports because it's becoming an aging uh, population in terms mm -hmm. of viewership. And yeah. to mm -hmm. capture the younger audience, they're getting into esports. Oh, that's fantastic. Obviously, like the younger audience is kind of on it at the moment, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, so the the people, all the audience that are watching esports, uh, you know, league tournaments are more than the NFL, the FIFA, all of that combined. Yeah. So there is a huge opportunity there. That's fantastic. And just before you were telling me about, you know, how many followers you guys have collectively. Yes. It's quite insane the number. I actually forgot what it was. What? It was 500 uh, million followers combined. Wow. I mean, that is That's some insane. pull, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Do you think they want to share any of Daily Gamer stuff? Yeah? Of course. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. We've got almost a thousand followers now. So as long as they can help us get up to the, the, the thousand, that's just 20 <laughs> yeah. of your five. We'll take 20 of your 500 million. Got it. <laughs> amazing. Uh, hi, that's all we've got time for today, I'm afraid. But thank you so much. You've been amazing. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely get you back on the show again. Thank you so much for having me. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Yeah, yeah.